Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, so I just did a review on the Furman 2000 and I wanted to do a comparison, a size comparison with the uh, closest generator, I think, the Predator 2000. They both have 1600 running watts. They both have 2000 watt peak and they're both pretty close in price. This one, uh, Costco's going aggressive with the sale, so, but the regular price, they're pretty much close in price. And if you look at these two generators, as far as size goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh them later on so we can see exactly the, the weight. Uh, they both have about the same gas, so I wanna see the weight with fuel in them. But if you, if you look, the Furman's a little shorter. Let's turn them sideways. I got them pretty much uh, level. So you can see, they're about, they're exactly the same length. You probably can't even see the Furman back here. From the back. They both have spark arresters, so that's good. These are campsite friendly, campsites where there's grass. They require you have a spark arrester. They both have spark arresters. And you can see from the back, the Furman is a little wider. This one's a little uh, skinnier. Let's go to the side. You can, you can tell the, the height difference. But they're, they're pretty close in size and power. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the test, compare these two, and we should, we know, we're going to see what, which one, how they compare to each other. They, I mean, they're exactly the same power, almost the same size. They both have the lock on the gas caps. One thing that the Predator has is the, the fuel, fuel gauge. The Furman does not have a fuel gauge. Yes. This one does not have a fuel gauge. Um, two 20 amp plugs. One 20 amp plug. But you have a 30 amp twist lock. No 30 amp twist lock. Mm, what else? I mean, they're pretty close. And, and this one has the uh, shut off. This one only has the... Uh, this one will drain the carburetor when you shut it off. And I love the covers. I love the, the recept receptacle covers. Yeah, so let's just, you know, they're pretty close in, in power rating and I think they should be pretty close. So if you're looking to buy the Predator or the Furman, I just kind of want to give you a, a comparison looking at them side by side. I hope this helps. Okay, guys, so we got another generator on. I'm pretty sure you all know what generator this is. This is the Honda EU2000. Now, I'm telling you what, these two generators are identical in size. I mean, they are identical. Check this out. The Honda has one 20 amp receptacle, one 30 amp receptacle, twist lock. The Furman, one 20 amp, one twist lock. Manual choke, manual choke, shut off, shut off. Indicators, three indicators. I mean, these two generators, parallel capable and parallel capable, these two generators are almost identical. I'm going to do a low test on these two generators and the Predator. I showed you the Predator before this one. But if you watch these two generators, 
The Honda probably has about half inch, but there, the front one's a little, still a little bigger, still a little bigger, but they're almost identical. You can't even. You can't compare. I mean, they they look exactly alike in size. Okay, so now we're gonna take these three generators. I'm gonna put them all outside. We're gonna start all of them. We're gonna do load test on them. We're gonna check the sound and weight. And the, the reason I got these three generators is because they're all 2,000 watt and 1,600 running watt. So they're exactly the same. I'm not going to try and overload the generators. I'm just going to make sure they can run the rated wattage. Everybody knows if you go over 2000, it's going to overload. I'm just going to try to get to the rated wattage. Anything over 1600 watt, good. Good enough for me. Good enough for you. And we're going to do it in eco mode. And um, we're going to see what they, they do. All right, let's get them outside and get them all. Okay, longer. guys, so we got the Predator on first, and it's on eco mode. Right at 60. I'm going to put it in. It's normal mode. For the Predator, we got 52.4. Furman, we got about 62. Let's put it in off eco mode. A 68. Furman, 50.8. 59, 60. 59.9 is the lowest I saw. Get it off eco mode. Sixty six point five. The Honda came in at forty nine point six. Okay, guys, so we're going to do the load testing of the uh, Honda. EU2000, I'm going to use two separate heaters. This one, I'm going to get it up to the max, which is uh, 1500 watts. And this one, I'm just going to put it on number one setting, which is 500. Let's see exactly where it goes. Right at 600 watts. Okay. So that should bring us right at 2000 when you put everything together. Because this one, after it settles down, it goes to 1400. So with 1400 and 600, we should be right at 2000 watts. Let's see what we get. Honda first. 
First one. One thousand six hundred watts, one hundred twenty-one volts, thirteen amps, twelve point six, twelve point five. See, it's settling to about fourteen hundred. Sixty hertz. Okay. Now we're gonna put the other heater on one. Hundred and thirteen volts. One thousand eight hundred watts. Okay guys, we just tested the Honda. Now we're gonna test the Predator. Two thousand watt Predator. The Predator's putting out 123 volts right now. Okay, we're gonna turn on the first heater. Credit is holding at 119, 12.4 amps. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the second heater, number one, which is 600 more watts, more like 500 watts. The Predator's putting 16.4 amps, 1.9. So now we're going to try the Furman. Okay, we got the Furman hooked up, ready to test. Let's go ahead and uh, get that ready. Okay guys, as you can see the Furman's putting out 125 volts. We're going to turn the first heater on. Hundred and twenty volts, thirteen point seven amps, one point six three, and it's gonna settle to one point four. Now we're gonna turn on the second heater on one. Sixteen point five amps, hundred and seventeen volts, one point nine. That's perfect. Turn the heater off. Turn the second one off. All right, guys, so we just did a comparison test of the Furman 2000 watt generator, the Honda 2000 watt generator, and the Predator 2000 watt generator. And all three of them passed the test. We got up all the way to about 1,900 watts and I mean that's awesome. So your choice guys. Whatever you want to buy, your choice. They're all great generators, great buys. Alright guys, we just finished testing the uh, three 2,000 watt generator and Every one of them did great. The Predator, the Honda, and the Furman. We got all the way up to about 1,900 watts. So um, any one of these would be a, a fantastic choice. They all have price differences. This being the lowest, then it's the Predator. You know the Honda is about $1,000. So even though it's out of the price range, they still perform just as good as the Honda. Um, I know you guys think that just because the price is not there, it's all in maintenance. Keep your generator maintained and it will last. Uh, so guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. To those of you who have subscribed, as usual, thank you for subscribing. And keep watching my videos and give that thumbs up. We'd like to see that thumbs up. Thanks for watching Gavin's Garage and have a great day.